Welcome back. Let's begin to style this review. Now, the main thing we need to think about is how the user is going to go to the review. Now, I say that the title is the most important bit. So let's go for smaller title in terms of the font formatting. As for the color, blue is the only choice because orange would imply some type of action that's available here and that's not the case. Next, the date and author's name. These are not all that important, so I think we can go for body in terms of the font styling and for the color, gray. Bottom line then, by the way, if you haven't done so already. Now, the meat of it, the actual review itself. Now, I say that this can be styled as body as well, but let's make it blue because people might actually want to read it versus the date and author's name, which are there basically for decoration purposes. Well, it's not exactly decorative, but people really don't care about those things. Those are there just to give a boost of credibility, right? So you can see that this is an actual person. Okay, we do need something visual here because it's just too much text. And I say a thumbs up or something of that nature. Now we could use the same emoji, the smiling one, um, but I think that's a bit too repetitive. So let's risk it. Here's what I have prepared. But you know what? Rather than dragging it in this screen, then panning around towards the left, let's actually do this. Now, let's actually focus on the resources frame and drag the icon directly there, because it makes much more sense. Here, as usual, make it into a component and then add an auto layout as usual. Though you should know that if there's a positive icon, there should always be a negative one. And indeed, you have one attached. Now, I repeat, this is a bit risky. We could just use the same smiley faces, but um, you do you. Here, I'm trying to deviate, make something a bit more interesting. Okay, when you're done with those resources, let's go back to the review screen. Drag a positive vote inside, and let's think about it. First of all, I think we need a bunch of auto layouts. And do you know how many? If not, let's go through this together step by step, row by row. So this is the first one, right? And then this is the second one. Now, do we need the third one for this body text? No, not necessarily. So now let's grab everything like so, and then Shift A, and that's it. So we have three in total. For the first two, one for each row. Obviously, we're going to need two. Now, main settings, space between, and then set this up to fill container. Okay, awesome. Take your time with it, by the way, don't rush it. I'm obviously going faster, but you can always pause. Now, we do want quite a lot of flexibility, so this makes quite a lot of sense going for the fill container. Looking great so far. Now, let's select the big frame, the main frame, and change its width to fixed. That's so we can set it up to 656 pixels. 656 pixels and basically yeah that's job well done though to be fair we do need a bit more work to finish up mainly we need to fill up the screen with other entries so let's make a copy of this divider from up top and place it down no specific spacing in mind because we're going to create an auto layout here as well and that's going to allow us to type in a specific value so let's go with 20 for the moment this also helps us out with adding or removing extra lines while maintaining that divider at the exact same distance. And with that, let's make this into a component. As always, we're gonna have to use the separate resources frame. You may wanna resize it, by the way, or you may wanna move it closer to the screen. Now, it's really up to you how you set it up, but make sure you have a good time moving back and forth. The main thing is that you have enough room inside it. Because after we make this into a component, we can do a variant just for the hell of it. The only thing that I'm willing to change right now is to replace the icon. But uh, there's a lot more potential here. So make sure that you try to explore other design choices. Like maybe a different color for the title, maybe a different color background. Various other things you can do right here. But yeah, for now, let's go back to our screen. And actually, let's drag out a few copies. I think we can fit about 4 in total, though the last one may be a bit cut off, but that's totally fine. You can change one of them to the negative variant, just so we have some variety. 
but before we change the actual text content, keep in mind one thing. The divider changes position based on the text above, right? So if it's longer or smaller, the divider moves, but it doesn't move according to the next review. As you can see, it doesn't work. And that's because we didn't give any instructions about that. But here's the thing, if you select all of these entries and then add them into an auto layout, that's job well done. Now, feel free to add or remove lines of text and you should see that it works fine. And indeed, this is correct. Now, here's the thing, we could do a Boolean for the title. We can do a variant where there's no comment, Options, options, options. But right now, for this recording, I'm very happy with this amount of flexibility. You can do a lot more, but yeah, it's gonna take a bit more time. So for the moment, I think we should just continue. Thank you so much.